Welcome back to the IBSP. Here's your host, Foxy New. Fundua, not Canelo. Look, let's break it down honestly and objectively as possible. And Jake Donovan has come out and reported that the WBO has granted a 10-day extension for Sebastian Fundura and Terrence Crawford to come to terms on a unification fight. This request actually came from Terrence Crawford's side, and it was agreed to by Fundura and his promoter, Samson Boxing. So when you look at it, if Terrence Crawford was only interested in the Canelo Alvarez fight, why is he requesting a 10-day extension to make a unification? fight with Sebastian Fendura. Could that mean that the Canelo Alvarez fight is off the table for Terrence but Crawford? You remember Turkey Alashik, who represents Terrence Crawford, who holds Terrence Crawford's hand. This man has come out and stated that Terrence Crawford only wants to fight Canelo Alvarez, and if he don't get the fight, he might retire. So this is great news for Terrence Crawford, great news for boxing, because at the end of the day, Sebastian Fendura, Terrence Crawford, unification fight is the only fight that makes sense. We don't want to see Terrence Crawford try to survive against Canelo. We don't want to see Terrence Crawford get knocked out against Canelo. We would prefer Terrence Crawford compete at 154 and go after legacy. Terrence Crawford has never wanted to fight Canelo Alvarez, but now all of a sudden he's using his name for clout in every interview now all of a sudden he wants to fight him for a massive payday no one wants to see this nonsense if Terrence Crawford truly wanted a Canelo fight he should have moved up to 168 and start competing there but he didn't he just wants to run in and try to grab a payday anybody that can't see through this is a moron idiot and a dummy now when you look at it it makes perfect sense that Terrence Crawford goes after legacy fights so he can accumulate more accolades by fighting a guy like Sebastian Fendura, um, by by going in there and beating a, a sitting unified champion. Now, do I believe Sebastian Fendura is a great fighter? Absolutely not. I think Terrence Crawford beats him, you know, two ways to Sunday. But at the end of the day, that gets him one step closer to undisputed. And if Terrence Crawford can go undisputed at 154, he has to come see the Boots Ennis or Virgil Ortiz. He rejected fights against both of these guys and. Terrence Crawford versus either one of these young guns, young lions, would be a massive fight, and that would be a fight we would all love to see. You can't reject the fights against the better opposition because make it make sense, you know, Boots Ennis or Virgil Ortiz would cook Sebastian Fendura. And ultimately, those are the fights we want to see Terrence Crawford in. But I can't be mad at Terrence Crawford going for a unification fight.